Hello and welcome to the National AA Archives Workshop series of instructional videos on archival preservation and conservation. The purpose of these tutorials is to provide some simple techniques that archivists in Alcoholics Anonymous can use to stabilize and preserve our historic documents for future generations. The subject of this video is document cleaning. Here are some basic guidelines for all our work. First, do no harm. Borrowed from the medical profession, this simply means we don't do anything that will damage or cause degradation to the materials we are entrusted with. Two, wash your hands. This is to prevent transfer of oils and dirt to the document. After washing, don't apply moisturizers or other skin products. Three, make sure your work surface is clean, uncluttered, and free from beverage containers, food, or other potential contaminants that could be spilled or transferred to the work materials. Four, if you are unsure how to do something, ask for help. Get some additional training and practice on non-archival materials. As it says in the big book, we realize we know only a little. Five, don't do anything that can't be undone later. We use water-based re repair materials when necessary so they can be easily removed at a later time and for long-term protection in storage, we use encapsulation, not lamination. Six, do the minimum required to stabilize the material and extend its lifespan. We are not trying to return an item to brand new condition, which would negate some of the history of the document. Here's a view of the tools we'll be using for cleaning documents. Uh, the document cleaning pad, there's a shot of the box that it comes in and the cleaning pad itself, and also some kind of a soft brush for uh, brushing the cleaning pads solids off of the document itself. Uh, drafting brush is an inexpensive way to do this, but any sort of a very soft bristled brush will work. We don't want to use a rubber eraser. They can be kind of hard on the paper fibers. Before you start work, it can be helpful to lay down a sheet of wax paper just to keep the, uh, the dust and the mess confined to protect your work surface. But first, we're gonna start with the, the group AA pamphlet. This is not archival. This is our practice document that we removed staples from in a previous video. Take out the document cleaning pad and then you need it to release the cleaning compound that's inside. It works its way out through the fabric and you brush it onto the paper. Once you've got some cleaning compound on the surface of the paper, you go to the area that you want to clean up. In this case, I'm going to be removing some residual rust from where the staple was that I pulled out. And just gently in a circular motion, just work it around. It may not remove everything and that's okay. And we're not trying to remove pencil marks that might be part of the history of the document. This is not an eraser. Thank you. 
Then when we're done, we brush the document cleaning powder off of the document itself, clean the paper off. And this is a good reason for using a waxed paper sheet underneath, is it's easier to dispose of the, the cleaning powder. Now we'll repeat the same process with our archival document, which is an old pamphlet. Has a small amount of residual rust where the staples were. And that's what we'll be trying to remove. to finish off we'll do a little light cleaning on the cover of the pamphlet. It didn't look particularly dirty but it wouldn't hurt to clean it up a bit. Adding some more document cleaning powder and again using light circular motions being especially careful around the edges and the corners. Brush off the document with our light brush, just gently, and we're done. As you can see, we removed most of the rust, but not all of it. 
but that will help reduce the further deterioration of the paper. For more instructional videos and for information about the National AA Archives Workshop, visit our website at www.naaaw.org. There's also a lot of good information on the General Services Office Archives webpage at uh, www.aa.org. Thanks for viewing.